Hello programmers. So what I got over here is that AWS ECS service. I'm gonna give you a comprehensive tutorial uh, with short videos. Everything will be implemented practically. Before that, you will be having a flow so that you will understand what are its prerequisites, what are its components, and how those components are interlinked. Why this service is very uh, useful for uh, big companies such as uh, Netflix, Uber, Amazon, Apple, whatnot, right? Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna give you everything. Uh, I will be having implementation practically uh, in the GitHub, and you will find the GitHub repo in this uh, series of channels, something like that. Okay, so that being said, let's see what we are, what we have over here. So we will be having a different uh, prerequisite and side by side, I'm gonna give you the scenario, what uh, the prerequisite and what are the components and then quickly give you a glance how those things are gonna work. For example, over here we, we have AWS ECR that is required and that is a must prerequisite to understand the ECS. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the glance of practical experience on that. Second thing, how ex actually uh, the ECS work. I'm gonna give you the flow, what is cluster, how that cluster is linked to the service, what is service, what is task, what uh, like how those things interconnected with, e with each other, something like that. Don't, pro don't worry, I'm gonna give you all the glance and everything. What is task definition? A Lot of people get confused between task and the task definition. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you this one, this particular scenario as well. And they get confused <laughs> even between task and service as well, so don't worry. Uh, that will come into the uh, the series of videos, okay? Then definitely we will be having a practical uh, experience, a practical uh, coding challenge, I would say, a coding project where uh, I'll show you that <coughs> how to launch a dockerized uh, users API that is I'm creating on Python. And definitely you can create your uh, uh, Django application, uh, sorry, or any application, for example, Node.js and something like that. You can take that Docker file. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the uh, GitHub repo so that you will follow all the steps one by one based on the series. For example, this is the series one. So I'll be creating a branch series one and then everything will be there. So you can follow along with that and then uh, you can have a clear understanding of what I'm trying to say. Uh, lastly, like how those multiple services will be communicated. So I'll be launching one more service saying that uh, 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 book service or user service, something like that. Now uh, we will see, then we will see that how we can SSH into uh, multiple services and trying to ping to the other service from uh, different service, right? Uh, we will understand the most important topic that is ALB Hub. How actually the uh, application load balancer work? We will see that what is target groups, uh, what, are, uh, what are the health checks on that, what is target, how to resolve different problems that 404 health checks and something like that. We will see that how route based working, uh, how the um, path based uh, uh, routing works and something like that. We will be having multiple scenarios. Currently, I have those many series, but in future, I'll be having uh, all the practical uh, implementation in this particular series. So please do subscribe to my channel and then we will be having all the series there and GitHub uh, repo in the uh, almost all the series of the videos Th that will be really short. I'm trying to making all the videos less than uh, 10 minutes, something like that. So that being said, stay tuned and let's get started creating a new a repo on github so that you will be having uh, access to that repo and we can start building that on that